Hello friends. My name is Mrs. Randall and today we are going to learn about informative writing. Before we get started, you may want to know what is informative writing. Informative writing is a writing that provides information. It is a fact a fact is something that is true. When you write an informative writing piece, first, you should include an opening paragraph to introduce the topic. Second, name the facts in the body paragraphs of your essay. Third, you should follow the facts with supporting sentences. Next, you should organize your writing with transition words like, first, next, then, last, or finally. Then, you should refer to the topic and include key vocabulary. Finally, make a closing paragraph that relates to the topic. When writing your paragraph, use the hamburger paragraph model. Your top piece of bread is your topic sentence. This sentence tells the reader the main idea or what the paragraph will be about. Next, the middle part of your hamburger which is the meat and all the toppings are the supporting details of your topic. It is good to give at least three, and, last, the bottom piece of bread is the closing of your writing in which you write a concluding sentence. This sentence refers to the topic sentence and sums up the main idea of the paragraph. Now, let's apply what you have learned. Isaac's teacher gave him a homework assignment in which he had to write an informative writing piece to inform readers about the life cycle of a butterfly. Isaac came straight home from school and got started. Isaac completed his research of the life cycle of a butterfly from an article he found online and began working on his informative writing piece using the hamburger paragraph graphic organizer his teacher gave him. Okay. I remember Mrs. Robinson saying I need to begin with my topic sentence, at least three supporting details, and a closing sentence. I have learned many facts about the life cycle of a butterfly. First, a butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of a plant and hatches a caterpillar. Next, the caterpillar feeds on the leaves until it gets big enough and stops eating. Then, the caterpillar forms a protective layer called the chrysalis and the caterpillar is now called the pupa. Finally, after about 15 days, a beautiful adult butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. The life cycle of a butterfly is very interesting. The next day during writer's workshop, Isaac's teacher Mrs. Robinson checked everyone's homework. She was so impressed with Isaac's informative writing piece, she asked him to share it with the class. The Life Cycle of a Butterfly I have learned many facts about the life cycle of a butterfly. First, a butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of a plant and hatches a caterpillar. Next. The caterpillar feeds on the leaves until it gets big enough and stops eating. Then, the caterpillar forms a protective layer called the chrysalis and, the it is now called the pupa. Finally, after about 15 days, a beautiful adult butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. The life cycle of a butterfly is very interesting. Great job Isaac, you did a marvelous job informing your readers about the life cycle of a butterfly. You did not forget to add a topic sentence to let your readers know the main idea of your writing. You gave at least three supporting details to support your main topic. You used transition words like first, next, then, and finally. And last, you wrote a strong closing. You received an A-plus on your informative writing piece. Keep up the great work. Goodbye friends. Today you learned how to write an informative writing piece. I hope to see you again soon. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more instructional videos and remember to keep learning and growing.